Hi there, how you doing guys? Uh, one of the things I have had many times, I've had this month three emails about this and uh, a few YouTube comments as well as how, seeing it three times, two, three times today on uh, Reddit, uh, in the Linux slash gaming, is people have got low spec machines or fairly low spec machines and they want to try Linux gaming. Um, a lot of these people are, are Windows gamers and they're using an old machine to try Linux out on and they want to get a feel for, for Linux and they're just sort of like, oh, what's good? Um, personally, I, I think it's fairly easy to work out yourself what's going to play and what's not, but people seem to ask the question a lot, so let's answer it, shall we? Um, I'll go a bit quick fire because these are very straightforward stuff that we just want to talk about quickly. Um, one of my recommendations straight away, if you've got a controller, not so much fun in my opinion without a controller, very much for me a controller game, is Party Hard. Very positive reviews, priced at £9.99 and um, the Linux requirements is Ubuntu 14.04, a Pentium 4 and a gig of RAM. Um, trust, yeah, trust me, this thing will run. It looks great, it'll run anything. It really is definitely worth checking out. Um, so yeah, that's my first one, uh, and I'll try this on many, a, many a distro, and it's never failed to be great and entertaining. Also, if you're a streamer, you can stream this game. It's got Twitch interactivity, which is quite nice. Uh, Legends of Grim Rock. Legends of Grim Rock is a first-person dungeon adventure game um think for me it was eye of the beholder remember that it's that sort of thing it's very faithful and very loving and very interesting definitely worth checking out uh, but expect to die a lot in that game it's very much the dark souls of its own genre it's priced at 10 pound 99 you see this logo here 10 pound 99 this logo here means steam os and linux but you'll notice it, it doesn't have the word linux down here anywhere so you have to guess what the requirements are just so there's no misunderstanding though. Look, here's Legends of Grimrock here on Steam, in my Steam list, right? And if I scroll down, it goes Linux and OS X or OSX version updated. So yeah, it is definitely 100% out. And uh, there's my, my play button there to prove it. So yeah, I don't know why they haven't put the Steam OS, uh, the Linux requirements there, which is really, really, really annoying. But the next one is currently 50% off, but usually priced at £6.99, is Dino Side. Now, recently, that's had mixed uh, re mixed, mixed reviews, but most overall, it's very positive. I, 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 I feel like it. I think it's interesting. It's a platform game where your character slowly starves to death, and you have to fight dinosaurs and monsters and dragony things. Um, and you get yeah you do get to ride a t-rex that breathes fire and uh, you're slowly starving to death so you have to you basically have a time mechanic that you have to you have to eat you have to find food in order to progress um it's interesting not very historically accurate but a lot of fun and it's priced at very little money seems to be on sale a lot actually the linux requirements for this game is uh pff, yeah ubuntu or fedora 32 or 64 bit a gig of ram seriously that'll that'll run on, on just about anything and yeah look generally Everything made since 2004 should work. I love it. Yeah, great work, guys. That's exactly what I want to see out of our gaming descriptions. <laughs> and the next one is Caves of Could, which was my personal game of the year 2015. It's a game I really, 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 really liked. Binge played it, and I've been meaning to go back to it and play some more because there's so much scope for this game. It is unbelievable. It describes itself as a science fantasy roguelike epic steeped in retro futurism. If that's not enough to sell you, I don't know what is. This thing will run on anything. It essentially has no graphics. It essentially uses ASCII tiles and um, and, and small I, I boardy things. I don't know tiles there. Um, the tile set is super simplistic, and uh, it's mostly a text-based game. Definitely, definitely interesting. Um, and again, mostly ASCII, so it should work on. Yeah, if you've got a kernel and a monitor, you'll probably be fine. Um, and 100% worth the 6.99. Don't let the words early access put you off on that one. Next one is Torchlight 2, uh, which is a Linux game priced at £14.99. Overwhelmingly positive reviews. Personally, I'd say mixed. Personally, because I did find it a bit of a mixed bag. Um, it's a little bit heavier um, on the requirements, though. It does require... Um, yeah, 2 gig of RAM and uh, 1.7 gig of hard drive space. Um, OpenGL 2.0 compatible graphics card with at least 256 meg of RAM. Um, so yeah, it's, it's the, one of the heavier ones on my list here. But uh, I think this is like this is the high part of low-end gaming for me, I would say. Um, and even if it doesn't run great, it, I think it's got like a netbook mode or something which scales back the graphics even more. So definitely worth checking out, see if you can run that, especially if you already own it. $14.99, it's been on offer so many times. Most people own this and already have it in their Steam library. If you don't and you think you can run it, worth a look because it's one of the, one of the better dungeon crawlers ever made or ARPGs, whatever we're calling them now. 
Next one is FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light uh, Advanced Edition. Overwhelmingly positive reviews. This game is universally loved. I don't know why it scrolled down massively there. Universally loved. It's priced at £6.99 and goes on sale very regularly. Uh, if you can afford to check out the extra, uh, picking up FTL and the soundtrack is worthwhile because the soundtrack is very good. Game requires... Uh, yeah, yeah. Minimum of 1280 by 720 resolution with OpenGL 2.0. So yeah, you shouldn't have many problems running this. It is a, a resource management game set in space. We have to progress through an area of space while managing things like you go repair this, you go man this station while you're fighting ships and adventuring. Uh, very simple, very slow pace. It's turn-based, so if you want to do something else as well. This can go very good. As I say, it's not really turn-based. It's sort of turn-based. You'll see. It's a uh, it's worth playing, and it is fab. Uh, next one is Duskers, which is recently been released. Duskers is a game of drone management that's played pretty much entirely with a keyboard, um, and it's all about resource gathering using these drones and running missions onto other spaceships. Ah, there's a man there. <laughs> it's priced at fourteen pounds ninety nine. It only came out on the eighteenth of May. It came out of early access. Uh, it requires dun, 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 Ubuntu 12.04, SSC instruction set support, and 200 megabyte of hard drive space. Very, very light to run, but a very modern feeling and a very interesting game. With If you like the Alien, the original Alien movie, then this is a game you should play. It's great. Can't praise that one enough. Next one on my list is Wayward, which is still in early access and is priced at £5.99. There's an island survival game. Wake up, punch trees. Um, essentially, uh, you wake up and you have to... Uh, these are actually up there's a better screenshot you got your little dude here and you have to gather resources kill animals and slowly build yourself up to go from uh basically starving to death to having a nice little outpost and then you, you start progressing like that very very nice uh you awake and discover yourself no longer in the company of good men <laughs> fine seafaring vessel yeah it's pretty it's wake up uh wake up and adventure your way to uh success survival stuff uh without zombies which is nice uh, as again, as I said, priced at five pounds fifty nine, and it is Ubuntu twelve oh four, two gigabytes of RAM, dual core, uh, two gigahertz dual core or better, two gigabytes of RAM. There we go, and WebGL compliant graphics card. So again, most things should run with Wayward. It's a fun game. You'll find yourself dying a lot and getting better and getting a sort of an understanding of how the world works and really progressing like that. Very good. And if you're interested, you can go to their website and play the older version for free on the website. If you, I think you have to have Chrome installed. So if your computer can run Chrome apps, it'll, you'll be fine. Um, the next one is kind of kind of controversial. Honey Pop. Yeah. Honey Pop is a match three dating simulator. And I don't, I don't believe I'm recommending this, but it's an absolutely solid quality game. Um, it's a match three game with some really interesting mechanics and an odd, odd plot about fairies helping you pick up girls in bars um yeah honestly though it's really good <laughs> it really is it's really it's, it's a really good solid match three game as well as being kind of weird aesthetically um entertaining not for everyone granted but if you like match three games and and you also like picking up girls at bars it's for you uh, it's priced at six pound 99 um and it requires ubuntu or equivalent a gig of RAM, two gig of, uh, 1.2 gigahertz processor, and a gig of available space, or run anything. Like I say, if the aesthetic is something you think would be entertaining and funny, and it don't do take it tongue in cheek, it's not meant to be porn by any measure of the word. You're very self aware what it does. Um, it's interesting, not to be confused with Honeycam Studio, which is from the same company, and it's a terrible, terrible game. But it does run on Linux, and it does have low requirements if you're interested. Um, the next one is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic public sith 2 sith lords um this is a very old game that was recently brought over to linux but it still has a great story and some of the best rpg mechanics uh, you'll find on linux to be fair really great game um but it, mm, it's hit and miss uh, with performance wise it uh, requires uh, <coughs> ubuntu 1404 it recommends an intel i uh, i3 chip with two cores it recommends 2.2 gigahertz and 4 gig of RAM. I've had it running on a system that's under that spec with not many problems, um, but it does require a GeForce 440 or better. So, mm, yeah, have a look, decide yourself. Again, it's another one where, is it a low spec game? Because it's it's kind of running in like a wrapper type thingy. Um, so there's a little bit of performance hit, 
but still definitely definitely worth checking out if you can run it then great definitely do that and it comes on sale a lot as well very positive reviews um really is an interesting game why does he keep doing that uh the seventh guest is priced at four pounds 79 it's an older puzzle game um if you remember it from the good old days uh trust me it's it's not as well but it's an interesting game with some interesting puzzles and it's very very cheap and will run on anything if you've got no nostalgia for this game you've never heard of this game don't bother it requires those nostalgia goggles firmly in place for you to have a nice time with it but if you have got nostalgia goggles it's a very cheap game and you'll get you'll get quite a few hours of joy if you don't use a guide if you do use a guide you'll be through it in about an hour unfortunately so it's up to you uh, Baldur's Gate Ed, oh, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition um, Baldur's Gate is another one where you might need nostalgia goggles it's a very slow RPG um, I found it painfully slow upon revisiting it but it's still a very large game and if it's to your, to your taste your aesthetic and you're willing to really get deep into the story of it there's a lot of game here for £14.99 um, definitely definitely worth your attention if you like these older role play games uh, but yeah, seriously, this is a really nice, um, even though the game didn't really hold me on a second playthrough, um, the visually it's beautiful um, and it's a rock solid Linux port. Um, it requires, there you go, Ubuntu 12 or greater, <laughs> a dual core processor, 512 gig of RAM and OpenGL 2.0 compatible graphics card. But it does take 2.7 gigabyte storage space, but you know, also Baldur's Gate 2 is on there um, as well, which is also worth your attention. Last one for now is Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a game about murdering people brutally. Yeah, top down. Um, it reminds it's top down. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember this, but there's a game called um, Dreamweb. It's got that kind of aesthetic to it for or to, for me at least. Um, it's definitely worth worth looking at though because it doesn't play anything like Dreamweb. You basically burst into rooms, shoot people, take out everyone. Everyone's dead. Your mission is done. It's also got this weird plot as well and. Uh, Lots of use of masks and stuff. Interesting game. £6.99 often goes on sale. You can get the one and two combo pack for £14.99 at the moment. Um, but the first one's the one I would say is really worth your attention. Steam OS, it requires 1.8 gigahertz dual core. 512 gigabyte or 512 megabyte of RAM. Wow. And 130 megabyte of storage. Note, 32 bit only. Slash list. That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Definitely good. It's one of the better ones. Personally, I prefer playing it on a controller doesn't mean that you won't like it on keyboard and mouse but for a lot of these games maybe time to pick up a controller um don't forget that guys you can pick up an xbox 360 controller very cheap and just plug it into your Linux box and it'll pretty much work out the box so yeah that was my list of games that i think are worth looking at for low powered users um if you've got anything to add please use the comments below if you disagree with me and go that's shit or that's not as light as they pretend it to be then please let me know or if you're one of these low spec gamers and you looked at my list and was like hey i'm gonna play that let me know you go i'd be interested for your feedback but for now thank you very much for watching and if you got this far 13 minutes in you deserve to give me a like and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>